Now here's something that you might find interesting. This is a Roland MT-80S. It looks a lot like a boom box with a speaker missing off the side, but it's missing more than that because it doesn't have a radio or a cassette player or even a CD player in it. What it does have though is a floppy disk drive in the front here. Now why would you want a floppy disk drive on a boom box? Well, it's so that you can play your MIDI files on the go. Now the MT in the MT-80S stands for Music Tutor. Somebody with some musical talent and one of these and a disc full of MIDI files could learn how to play those tunes using the features that it contains. But before I show you those, I'm going to have to plug it in because unfortunately, unlike a proper boombox, this one doesn't run on batteries. I have to power it from the mains. Now, even before you put a floppy disk into this, you can still use it for one feature. It's got an electronic metronome at the top here. You can see the LED flashing time with the beat. And of course you can adjust that beat all the way up to 250 beats per minute. Now unfortunately I don't have any musical talent so I can't use this device for its intended purpose but it's still a heck of a lot of fun for someone like me because I can just put a load of MIDI files onto a floppy disk, put them in this machine and listen to them as though I was listening to a pre-recorded album. buttons here you can deconstruct the MIDI file by muting the individual channels. So you can see how this would be useful for a musician learning to play this track because they could just listen to the particular section that they were interested in practicing. Another handy feature for musicians is the counting. This counts them into the track that's just about to start playing. And if you wish, you can adjust the tempo of the track all the way up to 250 beats per minute. Perhaps not too useful at that end. However, if you were to slow it down, then I can understand it would help people to learn the individual sections at a slower rate and then speed up later. And you've also got the ability to adjust the key, if you really want. Using the markers, you can pick out a particular section of a track and get it to repeat that over and over. track was of course Eye of the Tiger, the special extended remix version. It came off this disc here which I found on eBay. I thought it was quite interesting. I wasn't aware they ever sold MIDI on floppy disks in a retail format, but here you go, here's one. So they did. This is a rock compilation. Now if we look in the booklet we can see this was just one of a number of titles in this range. In fact there were 14 of these covering a range of musical genres and each of them consisted of eight songs 
on a disc. And while some of the titles have their lyrics reproduced inside the booklet, other ones don't, apparently because of copyright restrictions, and the disc was unreadable in my Roland machine, unfortunately. I think it's a little bit warped or something. I managed to copy it across, though, in a computer to a new disc, which I was able to read fine. <laughs> On the back of the machine are various outputs, inputs and controls. If you don't want to use the internal speaker, you can send the audio over RCA cables. There's also a headphone output on the front as well. On the right hand side, notice there's a MIDI input on there and the start and stop to the left of that is so you can plug in a foot pedal. And there's also a microphone input. And I've got my mic here so I can just plug that in there. And next to there, we've got the volume and the mic echo. So I'll turn the volume up for the mic. Unfortunately, it's pointing at the wall at the moment, but you should be able to make out that I'm coming through on the speaker there. <laughs> and then we've also got microphone echo, which is quite a bit of fun. So we just turn it up a little bit and you can hear the echo starting to come in there. Turn it all the way up, getting a bit of uh, feedback. So I've got to be careful not to get too close to it. But there you go, you get the idea that this can be used as... Uh, well, I suppose you could use it for karaoke. We're up all night to get lucky. 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 Over the years, Roland brought out a range of these music tutor devices. The MT-80S that I've got came out in 1996. In 1998, they brought out the MT-300S. That looks a more sophisticated device with a better screen on the front as well as dual speakers, I think, at the top there. And then in 2001, they brought out the MT-90S. That's a more compact unit with the one speaker at the top and still the floppy drive at the bottom. Now, the next one would be the one to get hold of if you could find one. It came out in 2008 and it's the MT-90U. The U stands for USB. They finally replaced the floppy drive with a USB drive. In addition, this one will also play WAV files and MP3s. Now that's also a discontinued model, but it doesn't sound like it was discontinued all that long ago, so there may be a chance of getting hold of one of those. Now, if you can't, and you've got one of the older machines, and you're finding that the floppy drive is an inconvenience, copying things to floppy and then putting them in here, much rather have a USB drive like this one, well, you can. You can swap out that drive for a USB emulator floppy drive, which just slots in the front. There's people selling the kits on eBay. They're not cheap, but they do make it an awful lot more convenient to use. So there you go. That was a quick look at the Roland MT-80S, a piece of music technology that's now 21 years old, but it's still as much fun today as it was the day it came out, even to someone like me who can't play a musical instrument or sing karaoke to save his life. But that's it for the moment. As always, thanks for watching. <laughs>